today we will be discussing about engine room crane safety and drum working when power fails so let's move to our topic engine room crane safety and drum working when the power failure happens overhead crane safety so let's discuss about engine room overhead crane safety we all have seen that overhead crane in the engine room so let's discuss about what are the safeties in it most important safety feature of the crane is the electromagnetic fail safe brake most important safety feature is in the crane is electromagnetic fail safe brake <coughs> this brakes which do not allow the crane to fall with the load when even there is a power failure okay normally centrifugal brakes are doing this feature means main most important safety feature is electromagnetic fail safe brake electromagnetic fail safe brake that do not allow crane to fall with the load when there is a power failure when there is a power failure the brake which do not allow the crane to fall with the load that's a great important safety feature of the electromagnetic fail safe brake normally centrifugal brakes are used normally centrifugal brakes are used centrifugal brakes which are fitted inside the rotating drum these centrifugal brakes are fitted inside the rotating drum brake pads are always in applied state and pushed by magnetic springs when not in operation or when there is power failure okay the brake pad are every time every time they are in applied state and pushed by magnetic spring when not in operation and when there is a power failure okay here electromagnetic brakes are used when there is a fit which are fitted inside the rotating drum and the brake pads are always in the applied state and pushed by magnetic spring when not in operation or there is a power failure okay as the crane is operator or power failure or power is supplied the spring get pulled inwards or compressed due to electromagnetic effect of current okay when the crane is operated or when we supply power the spring will get pulled inwards or compressed due to electromagnetic effect of the current this allow crane to be operated normally okay okay when we supply when a power is supplied then the spring will get pulled in, inwards the spring get compressed due to electromagnetic effect of current so this way the crane to be operated normally okay then emergency stop is provided in the remote so that operator can stop the crane at any time so the emergency stop in the remote that we control forward aft then port starboard all we can control this emergency stop is also provided with the remote so that operator can stop the crane at any time so emergency stop is provided in the remote so operator can stop it at any time then motor is fitted with a distance limit switch in both transverse and longitudinal direction yes that we need to understand the motor limit switches are there that in port side starboard side forward aft all direction then this limit switch are there in the transverse and longitudinal direction okay then mechanical stoppers are provided for both direction in the case of electrical distance limit trip speed and mechanical stoppers are provided in both direction mechanical stoppers are provided in the both direction in the case of electrical distance limit trip switch electrical distance limit trip switch mechanical stop stoppers are provided in the both direction in case of electrical distance limit trip files then up and down travel of the hook is also attaches with a automatic stopper to avoid overloading of motor yes the up and down travel of the hook the hook the, it will go up and down when we are using with this automatic stopper is also provided to avoid overloading of motor okay the up and down motion of the hook they they will also provide automatic stopper so that to avoid overloading of motor and motor is fitted with thermal protection trip the motor there will be thermal protection trip when the motor winding gets overheated when the motor winding get overheated the trip will activate and saving the motor winding from burning okay in the motor there will be thermal protection trip when the motor when the when this motor winding get overheated the trip will get activate thus saving the motor winding from burning okay there is a thermal protection trip is there when the motor winding get overheated the trip will get activated thus protecting the motor winding from burning and load limit switch load limit switch this is also fitted which will trip the motor if the load to be lifted is above the crane capacity because load limit switch they will give an indication that they will trip the motor if the load lifted is above the crane capacity for example if the capacity is 13.5 kilo 13.5 ton safe working load if we lift more than that the load limit switch will get will, will trip the motor so that if the load is to be lifted is above the crane capacity if you want to lift the load above the crane capacity the load limit will trip the motor it is a safety precaution safety feature it is the responsibility of senior officer to operate the crane and make sure all personnel involved in the any lifting operation are safe distance during the operation of crane yes okay any senior officer on board who is uh, responsibility of who is responsible for the operation of crane he should be make sure that all person involved in the crane oper crane lifting operation are are at safe distance during the normal operation of the crane yes then additional tools like i bolt shackle wire sling belt that means tools like i bolt shackle wire sling belt etc this we should check this before lifting when use for lifting 
okay whether it is whether the condition is good or not we should check the eye bolt shackle wire sling and belt for before you need to check we should need to thorough check before use for used for, when you are using using it for lifting and all then we should be noted that no box or stand below the crate when it is in loader condition yes no one should walk under the crate under the load that we are uh, under the crate when we are in loader condition so we should place poster and all or we should post barricades like that so that no one should enter the, that area the loading operation should take is taking place that means it should be noted that no one box or stand below the crane when it is in loaded condition even though we are having safety we should be aware that uh, uh, it is all machine and sometimes if in case of embrace, some, some bad thing happen so we need to take our own care so that it should be noted that no one should walk or stand below the crane when it is in loaded condition then break the parking with the power fields then let's see now we will discuss about what are the safeties in the engine room or crane. Now we discuss about the brake drum, centrifugal brake drum that we use. They are, they are working when they, how it works when the power failure happens. Electromagnetic brakes, electromagnetic brakes. The main part of electromagnetic brake car, there will be two brakes which are connected to two lever. That means the brake shoe, they will connect it to the two lever and spiral springs which are connected to the lever and spiral spring also connected to the brakes the brake shoe will be connected to the two lever and spiral spring connected to the lever and electromagnetic sole load which connected to lever oh three these are all connected to the levers that means brake shoe they will be connected to the two levers in the two lever also the brake shoe will be there and the spring will be connected to the spiral spring is connected to the lever electromagnetic sole load which is also connected to two lever okay electromagnetic brake these are usually found on machine like crane, lift as they work as backup braking system. Electromagnetic brake means they are usually found in machines like crane, lifting equipment and all. They are uses that backup braking. They are used to backup means if the normal braking failure or something happen, the electromagnetic brake will happen. That means it is they will act as a backup braking. These brake only work when the electricity supply. How to make sure only when the electric supply electricity supply? How to make sure that, for example, the load carried by the crane for lift that moves up and down in the building does not fail the load that the crane of the lift was carrying fail it could cause serious damage to property as well as serious injury or even death to the people underneath the load or in the lift okay these brakes only work when, the, when there is an electric supply so electromagnetic brake means from the name we can say electricity they are producing the magnetic effect this will break only when there is an electro electric supply but this will make sure that the load carried by the crane for lift that will it, when it moves up and down in a building does not fail the load when, that the crane of the lift was carrying fail due to serious damage or the property as well as serious injury or even death to people underneath the lift so it is made in such a way that when it will make sure that when the, the load carried by the crane to lift that moves up and down building does not fail the load even when there is a power failure so that it would cause a serious damage to the property as well as serious injury to the people underneath the load the braking action of electromagnetic brake let's see the how means when the electricity is flowing the electromagnetic sole load uses magnetic force to pull the spring or sorry pull the lever towards it which keeps the spring attached to the top lever open okay when we supply electricity electromagnetic sole load they will use a magnetic force there so that they will pull the two levers towards it so to the two lever will come to the electromagnetic sole load force then so that's why the spring attached to the top lever will open it will expand so it will open the two spring keep the brake shoe which are positioned on each shoes which are positioned on each side of shaft away from the shaft while turning so this the, the open spring now i said that open when we apply electricity the electromagnetic solenoid get activated so that magnetic force is due to magnetic force two lever will come towards it which keeps the spring attached to this will be expand will open so the opening of spring this will keep the brake shoe which are positioned on each shoe they will positioned on each side of shaft away from the shaft while turning so they will keep the brake shoe which are positioned on each side of shaft will keep the shaft away from shaft while it is turning when the electricity stops flowing the electromagnetic sole load will stop working so that the lever will will come will not come closer it will go back then 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 the, then the spring will compress then go inward then which pushes the brake shoe against the shaft to stop it from tuning this is what happened then thrust brakes thrust brakes means the main parts of thrust brakes are hydraulic centrifugal pump which is connected to the thruster piston that means hydraulic centrifugal pump it is connected to the thruster piston and thrust piston which are connected to pump and braking springs the thrust piston they are connected to the pump and braking spring 
friction plates and the brake this friction pads and brake this thank you